Hello. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, man, Hampi is quite breathtaking in its beauty. Check out this scene. I'm just gazing at white birds in this rice field against the red rocks. It's I've really never seen a landscape like this. Um, leaving me speechless, which doesn't happen very often. But anyway, today we walked up here to shoot a little bit and I wanted to do um, a class for the legs. Especially for my friend Kai, who we do a lot of work on uh, feet, ankles, and legs and stuff. So anyway, this will just be showing some of my favorite poses to kind of open up the lower part of the body, the roots of the body. So I hope that you enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get to it. All right. So to begin, I'm going to have us actually sitting not on the heels, but I want you to bring the knees together and have the knees the the kneels the heels slightly apart and bring the bum in between and um it's really can be really helpful to sit up on a block or sit up on a cushion here as well if you don't have as much uh, flexibility and i'm just going to begin by waking up the feet a little bit a little self massage so bring your hands into fist and we'll kind of use the these first knuckles here so you let's start at the knuckles right below the toes and begin to lean back and you can even lift your hips up just a little bit. So this is really using the body weight. Shoulders are over the wrist here. So we're not really pushing down, we're just using our body weight to add pressure. And you can continue up the foot. There's so many reflexology points in the feet. If you've ever had a reflexology massage, so the tradition is that you know the whole body can be manipulated through the feet so there's different parts in the foot that all correlate with different parts in the body so if you find your way over to asia they give some amazing reflexology treatments but there really is so much to it so much to a good foot massage so this is just a little self massage to kind of get the feet to wake up and maybe even come to the thumbs. And you can kind of go side to side here. All right. Well, we'll be glad we did that because now we're going to go into toe sit. So we go from something that feels really good to something that may not feel very good at all. This used to be a big challenge for me when I first began. My friend Jen Hillman, you may know her, she uh, would have me sit and toe sit, and it was horrible. I can stand it a little bit more now. So without further ado, bring your hands in front of you. Tuck the toes underneath. So my toes tend to kind of go out a little bit. So you can kind of move the toes so that they're even. Like I have a little bit of a bunion, so... Move the toes so they're touching, and you can spread the toes really wide as well. Some people, you can automatically spread your toes. Uh, I can spread my right toes, not so much my left, so I need a little bit of help. And then we'll sit back on the toes. So the torso is over the hips, over the heels. Some people love it. Some people hate it. So just stay with it wherever you are. This is really opening up the fascia in the sole of the foot. So you can bring the hands to the hips. I mean, sorry, the hands to the thighs. If you have blocks, you can rest the hands on the blocks. And if you need to come out, then just come forward. The body weight will come um, off of the heels. We'll see if we can stay here. About 30 more seconds. Wonderful place to practice dropping into the breath, staying present here. Tendency to hold the breath in discomfort. This is definitely can be a dis an uncomfortable pose. So breathing into the sensation. Next exhale, plant the hands in front. Tap the feet. And then come sitting on the heels, bring the hands behind you. 
and we begin to lean back. So now we're getting a stretch on the front of the ankles and even up in the shins. So you can stay right here. You can come down to the elbows, or you can begin to lift the knees up, and that'll be a bigger stretch on the front of the ankles and the shins. So begin to come back like this. If you have a block, you can put a block underneath the knees as well. So one of my teachers, Denise Payne, she has a, I'll probably say it wrong, I think the the 30-day toe sit challenge or something like this where you do this for six minutes. I'm probably butchering the, the instructions here. But you go back and forth a minute each, a minute each. We'll do just a couple rounds here. But she says if you do this for 30 days, several rounds each, that it'll change your life. So try it out. Oh, and by the way, this video is for my friend Kai. So I'm challenging you to the 30-day challenge. All right, and we'll come forward, plant the hands. Again, we tuck the toes, spread the toes if you need to. Get them spread again. And we sit back up. Shoulders back, heart forward. Let the crown of the head be tall here. Along with the breath, another thing we tend to do when we're not very comfortable is to kind of hunch over. So we're really repatterning that. Slow opening. And begin to come forward. Untuck, tap the toes here, and we'll sit back again. Bring the hands behind you. Begin to lean back, lift the knees, if that feels okay. Bring the shoulders towards each other, so we're getting a little heart opening here too. I can really feel it, and my shoulders feels nice. Bring the heart forward, continuing to breathe. Three more rounds of breath here. and begin to come out. Let's cross the ankles, come down onto your bum. We'll lay all the way down. We'll get a little bit more flexion, extension in the feet. So grab a scarf. I have a little towel here. And we'll lift the left leg up. Bring it over the sole of the foot. So it's kind of a little more towards the toes. A knee can be bent. It does not matter, but we're going to pull the towel or the scarf down. So getting lots of flexion here. And then while you're still pulling down on the towel, push the foot up. So you're giving yourself a lot of resistance. And then come back down. So you should be feeling this in the calf as well. Pushing up. Just keep going in both directions. And then bend the knee a little bit more. Pull down on the towel as hard as you can and push up with the foot as hard as you can. So really getting this equal opposition force going in both directions. We're just going to wake up the energy in the leg. Notice that the left hip is coming up and draw it down so the hips are square. You should begin to shake, and you want that. So let that shaking happen. If you're not shaking, then push harder and pull harder for five, four, Three, two, one, release. Bring the sole of the foot on the ground. And just notice the difference in both legs. It's really waking up the energy in that leg. And let's switch sides. So wrap the towel or the scarf on the right side. And we're just going to do with the toe, sorry, with the ankle flexion extension. So pushing the foot into the towel and then pulling it down. And then bending the knee, 
And we'll do this equal up position where you're pulling down, 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 kicking up, 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 up at the same time. Waking up the energy in the whole of the right leg, inviting the shaking in. Maybe feeling some pull in the hamstring for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Beautiful. And just rock yourself up. And let's bring the left foot bent in front and the right foot out. So this is really nice that we are just going to kind of open up this inside of the calf. So take your elbow and you can feel for the bone right here and a little bit more towards you. So feel the bone and a little bit more towards you. That's where we're going to work. So you can use your fingers and press in. It's quite tight. And press down. You're kind of pushing up against the bone. So you can use the fingers or you can come down and you can use the elbow. I tend to get a lot of cramps in my, a lot of Charlie horses in the middle of the night and I cramp a lot. So this is the really nice kind of self myofascial trick here. So just using the body weight. We're not really pushing. You're not really using, using the body weight. So we're not pushing with the elbow or pushing with the thumbs. You're really just using the body. You're just using your body weight. So in order to do that, you just bring the shoulder over the elbow. You can come all the way down towards the ankle. We'll go ahead and switch sides. Bring right leg in left, leg out. Let's go ahead and switch sides. We'll bring the left leg out, the right leg in. And let the elbow sink in. It feels so good. It's that good hurt. Coming all the way down. And I don't really like to, I'm not a big fan of the wiggle. So when you come into like a really sensitive spot, like I don't like to move around. I like to just hold it steady. And you may feel, even through the elbow, you get maybe getting some information from your calf, like feeling a pulse. And the blood flow coming to that area, noting adhesion. Keep on coming down. Beautiful. All right, let's turn towards the top of the map. I'll tell you some stretches that I like for the hamstrings IT band. So let's take, keep the left knee on the ground. We'll bring the right foot up into Ardha Hanumanasana. So the hips will be over the left heel, or sorry, the left knee here. The right toes will be flexed back. If you have blocks, I really encourage you to use them so you can bring the earth a little closer to you. We'll flex the toes back. The front knee can be bent. And instead of really falling forward here, coming forward, I want to keep more of a straight of a, sorry, a natural curve in the spine. So you can bend the knee, send the tailbone up and back. That'll create length in the hamstring. So we can stay more upright. So pulling the heart forward, pulling the tailbone back and up, this should be doing it. You should be feeling something here. If you want more, begin to turn the toes out to the right. And I'll keep adding some variations here. You can stay wherever you'd like or you can follow along. Bringing both the hands over to the right side. The hips will want to move to the left here, but we're going to keep them straight. We're going to keep them square, square as we can. So now both hands are over towards the right side. Remember to keep flexing the toes back. Starting to get into the IT band as well as the hamstring here. And you can stay here or begin to reach the right arm up. So we're adding a twist. And bring right arm down. 
Come forward, tuck the back toes, straighten the back leg, and we'll step up just a little bit into pyramid pose. So the back toes at a slight 45 degree angle. Hands come to the ground or to blocks. We'll inhale, halfway lift, pull the heart forward. We're looking for length from tail to crown. And then begin to fold down. Pressing evenly in both feet, you should be able to see the back arch. Lift it up and press even harder on the pinky edge side of the back toe, of the back foot. You can use the feet kind of like gas pedals here. So really pressing into the front foot or the back foot. Notice what that does to your hips in space. So you can push into one and then the other and then try to find where even lives. Inhale, halfway lift, reach the heart, the crown of the head forward, and exhale, fold down. And shift the weight into the front foot. We'll bring the back knee back down on the ground and sit the hips down. You can scoot forward on your mat a little bit. So the heel, you can't really see right here, but kind of like the way that we started where the heel was outside the hips, my heel is outside of my left hip here. You can roll the calf out a little bit. And we'll inhale for length, create space between the hips and the ribs, and then begin to lean back. So now we're working on the quad hip flexor area. So I'm just showing you a couple of my favorite stretches for different areas of the legs here. Take one or take them all or leave them all, but just some different options. You can come all the way down if that's available to you. You can also, it's really nice to have a big bolster to lay the bolster behind you. This is a really nice position to stay in for a while. If you are laying all the way down, I give a suggestion to lift your hips up, pull the tailbone down towards the front of the mat, and then lay it back down. See how that lengthens the lumbar spine. Hmm. I'm kind of in paradise right now. This is one of my favorite stretches lately. Uh, my hip flexors and quads are quite tight. And not only am I lounging in this pose, but I'm laying on a big rock. The sun feels perfect. And I can hear birds and some Indian chanting in the background. Cannot complain. A couple more rounds of breath. I could easily take a nap right here, but for your sake, I will keep myself awake and keep moving. So begin to come out of it. Push the elbows down into the ground, the forearms. Lift yourself up. Staying with the same leg position, inhale the arms up, and we'll just take forward fold. So moving the heart, the crown of the head forward. Begin getting into the hamstring. Inhale, halfway lift. See if you can come forward a little bit more. And then exhale, fold. And hold for about three rounds of breath. Coming up, extend both legs long. Take Paschimottanasana. Forward fold, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull belly in as you fold forward. So maybe you're grabbing the feet. Maybe your hands are just coming down outside the knees or outside the calf. Wherever you are, don't let the back round, but lengthen from tail to crown. And then slowly walk the hands forward. One more inhale here. Exhale. And coming up. 
across the ankles, plant the hands just for a moment, downward facing dog. Just big full body stretch here, push the hands into the ground, push the feet into the ground, gaze towards the hands and we'll walk the feet up to them. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. And let's step back with the right foot. Drop the back knee, straighten the front leg, pull the toes back. We'll come into Ardha Hanumanasana on this side. So the hands are pushing down into the ground or into a block if you have them. Shoulders away from the ears, pull the heart forward. A really nice way to like really bring the heart more forward is to drag the hands back towards the hips. That gives you space to pull the heart forward to the toes. Knee can be bent. Tailbone is going back and up. That's creating the length in the hamstring. So more than folding forward, we're reaching in opposite direction, reaching the heart forward, reaching the tailbone back and up. Staying right here, or begin to tilt the toes out to the left side. Don't let it move your hips too far to the right. We're just moving, externally rotating the leg. So notice the difference there. And then maybe you take the hands to the left side of the mat as well. Staying right here, if you'd like to add a twist, then plant the right hand down into the mat as you lift up left arm and begin to gaze back. Remember to pull the toes back. That's normally the first thing to go in this pose. One more inhale here. Exhale. Plant the hands on either side of the front foot. Bend in the front knee, tuck the back toes. And we will step up just about a foot, coming into pyramid pose. So the right toes at a 45 degree angle. Left toes pointing forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Pull the heart forward. Drag the hands back towards the hips. Hi, doggy. I love and love with the Indian dogs. And fold forward. So you should be able to see the back arch. Lift it up. Look at the pinky edge side of the foot. Push it down. Inhale, halfway lift, pull heart forward, and exhale, fold one more time. Breathing into the sensation here. Beautiful. Begin to come up. Let's plant the back knee down on the ground. Turn the heel out towards the side as you bring the hips down. So now you can see a little bit better. You can move the calf out a little bit. The heel is right outside the thigh. I'm going to scoot up on my mat. I've been traveling here. And we'll come down. Maybe you just lean back. Maybe you come down to the forearms. Maybe you stay here for a bit and then continue down, or maybe you stay right here. Listen in to what your body's telling you today, knowing that it's not always the same. Something you did yesterday may not be in the plans today and vice versa. So every day take information from your body. I'm going to go ahead and lay back here. Happy place. Turn the palms, face up. And let yourself sink into this pose. Let's take several rounds of breath just to let the body be. Big inhales. Big exhales. Oh, if you haven't yet, let's lift the tail up. Extend it towards the top of the mat and release back down. Notice how that changes the situation.
spine will begin to come up onto the forearms and then to the hands. Inhale the arms up and exhale begin to fold forward. Inhale halfway lift and exhale fold. About three rounds of breath here. slowly coming up extend right leg to match left leg quick forward fold inhale arms up exhale heart crown forward one big round of breath inhale exhale and inhale we rise we'll come into one more pose we'll come into fire log pose one of my favorite hip openers. So let's take the left leg on the bottom. And so make the left leg parallel with the edge of the mat. The right leg will bring right on top. So it'll be heel over knee, knee over heel. So bring the top foot a little bit off the side of the knee as if you were going to put on a flip flop or something. We'll flex both feet and we'll just let gravity do its thing. So maybe this knee will fall all the way down. Mine probably won't. You can put a pillow here. If this is too much, uh, letting it hang, pillow or a block is really good right here. Um, some of you will be really open. So you can walk the hands forward. That does tend to drop the knee a little bit more. Or you can just set up, let it slowly fall. Another option, if you would like to take a twist, you can actually twist to either side. You can take the elbow to the knee, or you can take the elbow to the foot, whichever side you'd like to. I'm happy with this today, but just so you know, a couple different variations. I suppose I would suggest holding for at least a minute Really nice to stay even longer. Probably have a few more rounds of breath here and then we'll switch sides. Plant the hands behind you. We'll lean back, put both soles of the feet on the ground and we'll windshield wiper the legs back and forth. Should feel quite nice. And then we will switch sides. So this time the right leg will come parallel to the top of the mat. Left leg will come over. Flex both feet. Sit forward on the pelvis. Not sit forward on the pelvis, but turn um, kind of pour the pelvis forward. You can imagine, I'm not explaining that very well, you can imagine like the pelvic bowl is actually a bowl and you want to pour water out of the front of it. Maybe that is more helpful. So you can see that I'm quite more open on this side and uh, most all of us will have one side that's more open than the other. That's completely normal. Pulling belly in, heart forward. Really keeping that nice open posture when we're in poses of discomfort. It's a retraining of the brain, of the body. And again, if you'd like to walk the hands forward, fold forward, or take a twist on either side, please do so. Explore what the body likes, what the body's possible possibilities are. Three more cycles of breath. Be 
plant hands behind you slowly come out of it don't want to jerk out of that p posture and again we'll windshield wiper the legs side to side and bring the legs out in front of you and just shake the legs out turn the feet left to right wiggle it out I'm okay with the wiggle in this scenario yeah so just a couple different uh, techniques to get some energy and some freedom spaciousness in the legs it's our root system in a lot of um, I do I do Thai massage and kind of a, a lot of the Eastern traditions believe that um, you know the the feet and the legs those are our roots as kind of see it as a tree so we really have to take care of the roots in order to take care of the branches so thank you for joining me in taking care of the roots today I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Go ahead and visit my website, coldchanceyoga.com. Check out uh, all the retreats and stuff I have coming up. I would love to see you somewhere in the world. And I also have uh, Cold Chance Yoga on VHX. I have hour-long videos there and some other good things coming out. So just check out my website. That will tell you all the things. I'm in yoga. I'm kind of yoga out at the moment. So I'll just quit rambling, and I'll see you next time. Namaste. Namaste.